This is an easy way to draw a seamless houndstooth pattern inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer, and this is Dia Graphics. So the first thing we need to do when we need to be very precise is to activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now zoom into the grid and select the rectangle tool. With this rectangle tool, hold down the shift key and draw one square like this. Fill out one of these squares in the grid. Now select the pen tool and create an extra anchor point in the middle of all sides. When this is done, go to the top and create an anchor point right here. And also create an anchor point right here. Now go to the bottom and create an anchor point here and one here. And do the same for the left side. One here and one here. So now we have all the anchor points we need. So go to direct selection tool and click this anchor point right here. Then drag this anchor point up to the middle of this line right here. Do the same thing for this anchor point right here. Now go down to this anchor point right here and drag it all the way down to this crosshair right here. Then grab this anchor point and drag it to the middle of this line right here. Do the exact same steps for these anchor points right here. So grab this one, drag it to this crosshair right here, grab this one and drag it to the middle of this line right here. So now we have the shape of the hound's tooth, but we need to make it a seamless repeatable pattern. So zoom out a little bit, then grab the selection tool, hold down the ALT key to duplicate and duplicate the hound's tooth up like this. Repeat this step until you have 5 hound's teeth. And the easiest way to repeat steps is simply by clicking CTRL D. So now select all the hound's teeth. Select the stroke and disable the stroke. So now we have five white hound's teeth. So unselect the hound's teeth and select every other hound's tooth. Select the fill and make these black. Now select all the hound's teeth and once again hold down the ALT key to duplicate and drag one duplication of all these hound's teeth just to the side like this. Now repeat this step two more times. One, two. So now as you can see we have the pattern already but we need to find a square that we can cut out of this pattern that can repeat itself. And even though it looks advanced it is actually really easy. As you can see we have these small squares right here. So we just need to go to the top left of the black square and all the way to the bottom right of the white square. This will be the square that we need. So grab the rectangle tool, go to the top left of a black square and drag the square all the way to the bottom right of the white square. Now go to the selection tool, select all the shapes, go to the pathfinder menu. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find the pathfinder right here. So go down to the pathfinder panel and click this option right here that says crop. And this is actually the repeatable square. Now you can simply grab this square and drag it to the swatches panel. And now you'll find the pattern swatch right here. So let's delete this square right here and draw a big shape and fill it out with our pattern. 